Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I have a subscriber that has purchased a reading and has asked me to post it public for everyone to watch. I'm truly grateful for this when anybody comes along and purchases a reading for everybody else to watch because some people just can't afford to purchase a reading on their own. Um, if you are new to my channel, a little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant. I do readings based on reading energy, energy between people. Um, and uh, uh, it's called Reading People. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. And I also use tarot to back up my intuition. All right. Um, I'm also clairvoyant, so I can feel, um, sorry, I can see things in, it's my third eye. I can see images. I can see numbers, that sort of a thing. For those of you who are currently subscribed, I truly appreciate each and every last one of you for coming back in, watching my videos, um, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. If anybody is interested in purchasing a private reading, please email me. My email will be below. I offer two services. The first one is a full reading, which is this one. This subscriber has purchased a full reading, $65, unlimited time, unlimited questions. I will read until I am done. And the other service that I provide is one question, $25, you get an energy reading and five cards. Okay. Um, if you email me, I'll get back to you within 24 hours and my turnaround time is less than seven days. Okay. You can purchase a reading on yourself or you can purchase a reading on your favorite celebrities. If it's just one question you want, you know, if you got a job offer, should you take it? Or if you should move or, you know, if somebody likes you, those are kind of like the burning questions that usually I get people purchasing. Okay. All right. So on to the reading uh, regarding David Lacos. I hope I'm saying this right. right. David Lacoco and Julianne San Jose. Now, she wants to know, can you tell me? What, you feel, what do you feel about these two, their present and future status? Are they in a relationship? What is David thinks and feels about Julie and Julie Ann to David? Are both families okay with each other? So David is a uh, Gemini and Julie is a Taurus, May 17th. So the May and June. Okay, so when I look at her picture, I feel she's a whole lot of woman. And what I mean by that is it's like she's got expectations and she has, you know, looking at her, she kind of reminds me of Angelina Jolie. She's like vixenish. She looks like a vixen. She's sexy. I feel that she's smart and she knows what she wants and she goes after what she wants. Okay, when I think about David, I've looked a picture up of David, and when I look him up, I get a nice guy, and I do feel that in some ways he doesn't know if he's any match for her. It's like she's a whole lot of woman for him, and he feels at times that she, he, she is um, out of his league. I still feel he has confidence though. They have a, I don't know if they've worked together. This uh, viewer does not say so. Um, so what I'm, what I'm picking up between the two of them is that I feel he likes her. She likes him back. He needs to chase her. I feel like he's chasing her. There may be... Like there's, there's, there's passion here. I feel that they're very, there's a, there's a passion and there's definitely a spark and there's definitely an attraction here between the two of them. I don't know how long they've known each other, but what I'm picking up is there is something going on between the two of them, whether it's casually dating, flirting, um, are they in a relationship? I almost want to say yes. What is David thinking about thinking? And so I feel, I feel, I'm going to put it out there. I feel that they're in a relationship. I feel that um, there is a connection here. 
and whether they're dating or committed, there is something going on between the two of them. They're in a relationship. Um, what is David thinking and feeling about her? He likes her. Um, I feel that he sees her as a challenge and men like challenges. Men are the hunters. They chase after the women, right? So they're the hunters and he's, he's going to hunt her and he's going to, he's, she's, she's, it's like she's interested, but playing hard to get. Okay. So even though they're in a relationship, she still kind of feels like she lets him chase. Um, but he really likes her a lot. I think he would really like to, um, get to know her more. Um, there is passion here between the two of them. This isn't just a spark. This is a, this is like a fire, a raging fire between the two of them. They get along on many levels, you know, emotionally, um, intellectually they get along it's like they vibe they're on the they remind me of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt where I know that that's fallen apart now where um there is passion he is somehow more grounded than she is because she's a lot more there's there's a vibe about her that is um Oh, what's the word that I'm talking, want to say? She's really ambitious. And I'm not saying he isn't, but he somehow grounds her and makes her, comes, brings her somehow back down to earth in some ways. I'm going to try and find more pictures of them. Because I just want to see a picture of them together. Let's see what they look like together. Yeah, I, I really feel that they there's a really nice connection here between the two of them. And I I he really likes her a lot. And you know how before, I don't know if you any of you guys watch some of my other readings, but I say how the man should love the woman more. You know, um he really loves her a lot. Loves, well, I don't know about love, but he's really, he really is connected to her and he really likes her. He really, he really wants to get to know her and wants more. She sees that. So she's open to it. I, there's, I feel like there's something going on here between the two of them. I really do. Um, and so I don't know if I'm covering all of this. Uh, and Julianne to David. She, she feels the same way, but she's a little bit more reserved, waiting to see what his commitment level is, you know, seeing what he wants, you know, where he wants to go with this. But I do feel that this is a two-way street. It's not just a one-way street, but he really likes her more than she likes him. He's into her. He's really into her. Are both families okay with each other? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't feel that David is arrogant and obnoxious or egotistical I feel he's a nice guy and I don't feel she's any of that stuff either but there's something about her that she's she's little she's a little bit vixenous she's like a little vixen you know um yeah I like them together they're I feel like they're 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 a nice match I don't know where they're from uh hold on here Filipino. Uh, they, he reminds me of uh, that one couple. What are their names? They're also Filipino and they're 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 darling together. Um, Lisa and Enri that's right. Lisa Saborano and Enrique Gill. These two are darlings together. And I feel like they're the this this is what they're like, this couple. He loves her. So I feel like get I get the same vibe with them. Uh yeah, 
That's what, that's that's the same vibe I get that he really would like to look after her and take care of her and so forth. So okay, I will go to the cards and I will ask um, what the energies are between David and Julie. He's, he's, he is fascinated with Julie. He is, it's like he hangs on every word that Julie has to say. I don't want to say obsessed, but he, he's, he really likes her a lot. Okay, what are the energies between David and Julie? 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 Okay, what are the energies between David and Julie? They both came up in this reading. All right, number one, there's the Ace of Cups. This is about a new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. This doesn't mean she's pregnant right now, but this is talking about the new beginning of being emotionally fulfilled. You can see this cup with water overflowing outside of it, which talks about emotional fulfillment. Both of them, they have this in the relationship. Aces are beginnings, tens are endings. All right, so look at all the water. Water in tarot represents emotions, fulfillment. You know, and look at this cup is overflowing with it. Hand of God. This could be... Uh, it's, you can see it's out of thin air, all right, that God has handed this to them, okay? There is the Ten of Cups. There is the beginning. There is the ending. What do they feel for each other? Again, marriage, children, family, love, and support. Very nice um, card, okay? This is what you work towards, wanting success, fulfillment, marriage, children, you can see the home, you can see the water running through the card, which talks about emotions, it's still going to be there, okay? Look who showed up. There she is, the Queen of Pentacles, all right? She is the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There, she is uh, resourceful. Many, she has many, many skills, and here he is, the King of Swords. He is the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius male. There they are, the couple, okay? So this card talks about someone who is quick acting. They're powerful. They're a leader. And he defends. You can see he's got that sword. And she's, she, there's abundance around her, okay? All right, then we have the devil. This, this, this necessarily is not a negative card, but the devil does talk about them being chained together. Okay, you can see this this couple, they're chained together, but this card represents, um, oh, hold on here. I want to make sure I get the right wording. This talks about a binding contract, okay, but um, Could be about negative people that drain them. And this is about a, a relationship that can be kind of quiet. I don't know if they're keeping it quiet at the moment. Okay. But they are they are chained together. This is a this is an energy of being being together and not getting out of it. So I don't feel like they want to get out of this relationship. They're there. Okay. And then we have the Ten of Wands. I, I don't know why the Ten of Wands came up. This is typically about stress, exhaustion, lots of responsibilities. I don't know if they feel like this relationship in some way is somewhat burdensome. Not that they're together, but with it comes many um, responsibilities. Okay? Um, and they could be working lots, stress, exhaustion, but they have each other. Okay? So they could be they could be tired a lot. Lots of responsibilities. All right. Let's see. What does David feel for Julie? What does David feel for Julie?
What does David feel for Julie? Okay, so what does David feel for Julie? He's still offering. There is the Knight of Cups, a Prince Charming, romantic love, proposal. Um, and I don't mean like marriage proposal, but he's often proposing to her, let's go for supper, let's go for a meal, you know, let's go for coffee, let's go do something together, let's hang out, let's watch a movie, okay? I don't feel he tells her exactly how he feels. Here's the moon card. This is about um, keeping things to yourself, keeping secrets to yourself. He's a little bit insecure around her. I feel that he doesn't think that she likes him back. She does like him, but I feel that she keeps she keeps her feelings to herself. Okay. We have the five of pentacle, five of cups, which talks about worry. All right. He feels that maybe with her this won't be successful because she might not be as into him as he is into her. Now I do feel that they're in a relationship, but I feel he's insecure. So this is saying not to worry because two cups are still standing upright. He just doesn't see them. They're behind him. So there's hope in this relationship. I just think that he feels somewhat insecure at times, okay? All right, he works at it. There's the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is mastering something. He's working on this relationship, seeing how he can make it better. He's looking at the details like this guy is. He's looking at the details of this coin, okay? And then we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is abandonment, withdrawal, retreat, travel, moving on. I feel like he is going to move on from the current situation and it's going to turn into something better. So if they're dating right now or if it's a committed relationship, it's going to go to another level. He's walking walking away from what it is right now to something better. It's going to transition. Let's see what she feels for him. What does Julie feel for David? But I truly feel that there is an insecurity here. He feels like he's going to have his heart broken. What does Julie feel for David? 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 Does Julie feel for David? What does Julie feel for David? Okay, what does Julie feel for David? There's the lovers, okay? So we do have here partnership, deep love, balance of two people together. I don't know how the deep the love is right now, but this is about two people that are connecting and it's strong and there's a connection and um, this could be a past life connection as well, okay? What does she feel for him? There is the six of cups, which is about friendship, innocence, playing well together. This is a good friendship, good relationship. Um, this boy is handing the girl flowers, okay? So it's about just just giving gifts to each other and just really, um, I, think he give, yeah, I think he gives her things and she appreciates it. What does she feel for him? There's the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles talks about a desire for long-term security. That is what she's looking for and she sees this in him. Okay, she sees him as being that passionate man, king of wands, an alpha male, a bold leader. He's got power, charm, courage. This guy is into the arts, communication. What is acting? Acting is arts, right? So she sees him as being very strong, charming, a leader, courageous. How does she feel for him? He has a lot to offer. Okay, so the nine of pentacles is luxury, self-sufficiency. She sees him as a provider, someone who's a leader, who's got charm and courage. And she's looking for that security, but she does see him in this aspect. You know, that lover, that, that, that potential of deep love. Okay, let's see what the future messages are. Regarding David and Julie. Any future 
some messages regarding David and Joy. Future messages. What are the future love messages for David and Joy? Like this is brewing between them. It's growing and it's getting stronger. Future messages regarding David and Joy. Future messages. Future messages regarding David and Joy. Future messages regarding David and Joy. Okay, future messages. There he is again, the King of Swords. Okay, I feel like he's going to lead the way for her. He's going to take charge. Here he is. So here we have these two. They show up. And the King of Wands. He's going to start to have more courage. And he is going to be that leader in the relationship. And he's going to put on the charm. Okay, there he is. He's going to, he is going to start telling what his thoughts are. What are, the, what are the future messages? Death. This is about big changes, its endings, its rebirth, letting go, moving on. So to me, what this card speaks about, it's a transition. This is a welcome change. You can see these kids here are handing flowers to death. This is a welcome change. This is a transition going from a cocoon to a butterfly. This relationship is going to grow. It's going to bloom and it's going to um, start to just flower. Okay, it's transitioning from perhaps dating or being committed to something more like marriage commitment, that sort of it, that, that kind of a commitment. We have two of wands, which talks about um, planning, making a choice, looking, he's got the, this guy's got the world in his hands and it's about waiting for something to change before you make that decision waiting for results and it could be that result that he's waiting for is seeing where she feels where she wants to go with this and go from there and start to make some decisions and then we have the chariot this talks about progress victory um, movement forward and and lots of changes okay because it's a long holiday in Philippines you think this was of course October 30th so it's been a couple of weeks you think or can you sense that both David and Julie Ann are spending this long holiday now, or are they out of town? I feel like they spend time together. Yes, I'll just let three cards fall out. And now, um, let's see. Did they spend the holiday long weekend together? All right, well, we have here the Three of Cups, which is celebrating, having fun, dancing, drinking, enjoying each other's company. This is friendship, celebration, circle of support, okay? All right, we have the Eight of Cups, which talks about travel. It's about retreating, okay? So them walking away from the current situation, which is their home life or whatever the case is, and this is about that travel. He made her an offer. I feel like he offered. There's the Knight of Cups, a Prince Charming, romantic love, and proposal. You know, it doesn't have to be marriage, but he could have proposed something to her, offered to take her. Let's go do something together. And then we have the Five of Cups. This does talk about loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. Um, I don't know if one of them is carrying baggage and they worry about maybe you know, getting involved with each other and then um, worried that that they're going to have their heart broken, but there's no reason for that worry. Maybe one of them is worrying. I, I don't know if it's her. I feel like I'm picking up her that she kind of worries. 
Um, but there's this is saying like don't let the past affect the future. Okay, so I mean I feel that they I mean these cards are saying they went they thought they had fun they celebrated you know and that's that's the travel card. Okay, I will see what the romance angels have to say. All right, what are the messages regarding Julie and David? Julie and David. What are the messages regarding Julie and David? What are the messages regarding Julie and David? What are the messages regarding Julie and David? Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. They deserve each other. Now look at this soulmate. Okay. Yeah, yes, this is your soulmate. And then we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Really nice cards. Okay. There you go. That is the reading on David and Julie. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Um, and thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.